people have tried to censor us a bunch of times. Um, typically, most, uh, most of the attempts fail. They fail because we have a good legal department. They fail because of a bunch of things. But I think that they, the real reason that they fail is because Wikipedia is a behemoth, right? It's what the Internet Watch Foundation said. People like Wikipedia. Public opinion is on their side. So people can't get away with censoring us in the same way that they can, like Joe's website down the street right. who nobody's ever heard of, right? And so I've been thinking about that a lot, and I've been thinking about the, the, the shape that the internet is taking and the direction in which it's going. And I see all kinds of um, trends that I find enormously disturbing when I think about I'm old enough, as you are, to remember life before the internet. Right. And it was not as good, <laughs> right? Like the internet is an awesome tool that has made people's lives transformatively better. We're in the middle of a golden age of access to information, even though the journalists are very upset because they're not sure what their business model is going to be. For the news consumer, the information consumer, it's the best period ever in human history, obviously. And I worry that we risk losing that. And I worry that we risk losing it for a whole bunch of different reasons. Governments beginning to assert authority over the internet and sort of reinstating national boundaries that for a while seem to be kind of melting away a little bit. Um, you know, commercialization and private sector groups, private sector organizations wielding enormous power and not really being accountable um, for the decisions that they're making.